This 2002 Honda Civic had a blue tarp covering the rear window. How many years have you been sitting? Three. Three? How long since the limb? A year or two? Or? No, yeah, about a year. Okay. A limb had fallen and hit the roof and busted the back window. The owner was reluctant to sell it, so I came back six months later and inquired again. Battered car in the driveway, we see it as an opportunity. He was ready to let it go. I offered 300 bucks and it was accepted. The Civic ran when parked three years ago. Taking it home, the backstory is the family member moved away and left the car in the driveway. Glass, sticks, limbs, briars, vines. Hey, motorcycle dude, watch out. Don't get hit by that junk. That junk's going to my house. I got a steep driveway. Everything's going smooth, even on a flat tire. And then suddenly, one of the straps is coming off. Wait a minute, that's not good. Uh-oh. The Civic made it up the driveway without falling off the record. It was cleanup time, got out this shop back, and it was time to go to work. I think some animals have been living inside the car. There had been a little bit of water inside there. The owner said it had been a year since the window had been busted out. I'm thinking it was possibly longer. Otherwise, it was clean. I saw a lot of potential. But anytime a car is sitting, animals tend to find a home under the hood. I hope they didn't do any damage. We'll get a peek under there. See what we're dealing with. You see the vines were growing through the hubcaps on the tires. Oddly enough, the tires weren't that old. How am I gonna fix this thing? All right, 2002 Honda Civic. Man, what'd they put inside these uh, interior panels? This is in the back seat area. I pulled all the plastic out and carpet and seats. Those bags of insulation. I was thinking I might get busted for some kind of drug smuggling operation, but but no, that's just Honda. That's the way they build these things so well, I guess. Nope. All right, it's got to get better than this. Animals under the hood. No whammies. Woo. All right, no snakes, no rats. What? what do, whoa, that's salamander. Hey, Mr. Salamander. Man, this thing's dirty. Hey, the battery's not too old. Hey, butterfly. All right, a seal of approval. All right, let's get to work. I got this hydraulic porter power thing, and I'm gonna jack up the roof. I got me a piece of wood. We're gonna raise the roof on this thing. Did it work? Let's see that again. Well, uh, fast motion, that is. Man. I got a little ways to go. It's gonna take some massaging. I gotta get that thing square so a piece of glass will fit in there and there won't be a gap. Now the roof's not gonna look perfect with our junkyard engineering here, but it's a $300 car and I just wanna go down the road in it and uh, get some good gas miles driving to work or selling it, making a little profit. All right, gotta do some more hydraulic pumping. Here we go, down. Let it down, let it up. All right, keep pressing up and down. That's before, and here's after. Oh man, that's so much better. It's time to pop a piece of glass in there. Junkyard parts, we need a rear seat belt and the back glass. The rear seat belts were kind of rusty. I took my son along, we found Herbie. He found some seat belts, another Z car. I slapped them babies inside there. Gave the thing another good scrubbing. The window's in. Seat belts in, it rained on it, time to sell it. Well, I put it on Facebook Marketplace. It had 135,000 miles on it. That thing was scooped up in a day. I don't know if it was a pandemic, not enough cars, but we sold it and I think the new owner was happy. Junkyard life, the story beneath the rust. We're always hunting junk. We love it when you watch our videos. 
You're helping us out tremendously. We can buy more junk. Thanks for watching. <laughs>